The number one thing that is going to stop you is the way that you think. Because if you can change how you think, you will, in fact, change your life. I believe the way that you think is a choice. I believe that you are either going to repeat the thinking patterns that you've always had this year, or you can evolve them. Because when you change how you think, you will change your life. The chemistry released by the brain and fear shuts down the growth mechanism of the body, shuts down the maintenance of the body to conserve energy. And the biggest thing is there's only one consequence, and that is disease and illness. And it turns out 1% of disease on this planet is connected to genetics, and 90% of disease or more is lifestyle and the psychology of love and fear. 90% and says, be in love and your body will be maintained and your immune system will be at peak performance. Be in fear and the game is over. You don't get to choose how you start in this life, but you do get to choose what you do. There'll be times you feel incapable of rising to meet the challenges that face you. You'll be tempted to turn your back and run, but running is never the best option. When you're in the middle of a struggle, the only way out is through. Rather than running away from obstacles or trying to figure out some kind of way around them, go right through them. Brace yourself, steady your nerves, put your head down and tackle whatever you face head on. If you want to be happy, remember one thing, progress equals happiness. That's it. But you got to keep the momentum going. Momentum is the hardest part, and we work so hard to generate that together in the event that you don't want to let that thing go to waste. And one of the things that you've got to do is you've got to watch your inner conversation and discipline your thinking and your imagination, because if you don't, your mind will take you on a wild trip, talking to you, telling you what you can't do. Part of what you've got to do is be your own motivator. You've got to talk to yourself and you build yourself up and you'll feel your energy level coming up and people will feel that around you. See, now, if you go through life being afraid, people can sense that. They can pick up that fear. I highly recommend that you take a good look at yourself from the inside out and realize that you are not out of the fight, that you are born to win, regardless of the circumstances. Don't ever give up on you. Because you matter, and it is this time for you to realize that the mindset must be put in the right place because it's only so much time that you have. So don't waste it. Don't waste it on doubt. Don't waste it on negativity. Don't waste it on fear. Put all your effort into being the best individual, the best makeup of who you truly are. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. You see, before you embark on any journey, before you set out to achieve your goals, it is imperative that you first visualize them with utmost clarity. Visualization is like creating a blueprint for your future, a roadmap that guides your actions and steers you toward your desired destination. When I say visualization, I don't mean simply daydreaming or fantasizing about your goals. Visualization involves the power of your imagination, your ability to create a vivid mental image of what you want to achieve. Picture this. A sculptor with a vision stands before a block of marble. In their mind, they can already see the masterpiece that lies within that rough stone. With every strike of the chisel, they carve away the excess, revealing the true beauty that was hidden. In the same way, you must be the sculptor of your own destiny. Before you start taking action, take a moment to close your eyes and envision your goals. See yourself achieving them. Feel the exhilaration of success coursing through your veins. Create a mental movie of your future with every detail vividly etched in your mind. See the smiles, hear the applause, and feel the satisfaction of a job well done. Visualization serves multiple purposes. Firstly, it clarifies your goals. By picturing your desired outcome, you gain a crystal 
clear understanding of what you truly want to achieve. It eliminates ambiguity and allows you to set specific actionable targets. Secondly, visualization fuels your motivation. When you have a compelling vision, when you can see and feel the rewards awaiting you, it ignites a burning desire within you. It propels you forward, even in the face of adversity. Now, let me be clear. Visualization alone is not enough. It must be accompanied by action. It is not a substitute for hard work, dedication, and perseverance. However, it serves as a guiding light, a North Star that keeps you focused and motivated throughout your journey. Remember, as I always say, the major value in life is not what you get. The major value in life is what you become. Visualize the person you will become in the pursuit of your goals and let that vision guide you every step of the way. Your inborn potential is extraordinary. You have within you right now the ability to achieve almost any goal that you can set for yourself. Your greatest responsibility to yourself is to invest the whatever time is required to become absolutely clear about exactly what it is you want and how you can best achieve it. The greater clarity you have regarding your true goals, the more of your potential you will unleash for good in your life. You have probably heard it said that the average person uses only 10 of his or her potential. The sad fact is that, according to Stanford University, the average person functions with only about two of his or her mental potential. The remainder just sits there in reserve, being saved up for some later time. This would be exactly as if your parents had left you a trust fund with $100,000 in it, but all you ever took out to spend was $2,000. The other $98,000 simply sat in the account unused throughout your life. People who play it too safe take the greatest risks. Did you know that? In the long haul, the intelligent risk takers develop the greatest security. Is the wise person who learns the importance of risk taking. During World War II, psychologist E. Paul Torrance made a study of United States aces flying in the Pacific Theater of Operations. He reported that the most salient characteristic of the ace was his risk taking ability. Throughout his life, he had kept testing the limits of his abilities, and the life histories of these men showed that they were highly resistant to accidents, and in combat, they suffered fewer casualties than pilots who were inclined to play it safe. Dr. Torrance said, living itself is a risky business. If we spent half as much time learning how to take risks as we spend avoiding them, we wouldn't have nearly so much to fear in life. In all walks of life, the most successful people are the risk takers. Now by that I mean they risk believing in their own ideas, striking out toward their own goals, standing up for what they believe to be right. They take the risk of being different when they believe in something. Now this has a tendency to make the going a little tougher for a while, but they almost always wind up ahead of the game eventually. Risk takers realize there's nothing wrong with an occasional failure. The play it safer seem to think a failure means the end of the world. The risk takers are not foolhardy. Getting back to the World War II aces for a moment, it was found that these men were very fussy about their airplanes, armament, and equipment. They were painstaking in preparation, highly disciplined in following instructions and what they'd been taught. But in an encounter with the enemy, they would immediately take charge and go on the offense. The best defense is often a good offense. The best pass defense in football is to rush the quarterback. When a storm comes up, ships in the harbor head for the raging open sea unless they're protected in slips. In the harbor, they can drag their anchors and wind up on the beach or the breakwater. So what appears to be risk-taking is often the most intelligent course to follow. It leads to security while what would appear to be the safest course of action can lead to disaster or simply nowhere. The starting point of all goal attainment is desire. You must develop an intense, burning desire for your goals if you really want to achieve them. It is only when your desire becomes intense enough that you will have the energy and the internal drive to overcome all the obstacles that will arise in your path. The good news is that almost anything that you want long enough and hard enough, you can ultimately achieve. The great oil billionaire H.L. Hunt was once asked the secret of success. He replied that success required two things and two things only. First, he said, you must know exactly what it is you want. 
Most people never make this decision. Second, he said, you must determine the price that you will have to pay to achieve it and then get busy paying that price, setting goals, working toward them day by day and ultimately achieving them as the key to happiness in life. Goal setting is so powerful that the very act of thinking about your goals makes you happy even before you have taken the first step toward achieving them. To unlock and unleash your full potential, you should make a habit of daily goal setting and achieving for the rest of your life. You should develop a laser, like focus, so that you are always thinking and talking about the things you want, on rather than the things that you don't want. You must resolve from this moment on to be a goal-seeking organism, like a guided missile or a homing pigeon, moving unerringly toward the things that are important to you. There is no greater guarantee of a long, happy, healthy and prosperous life than for you to be continually working on being, having and achieving more and more of the things you really want. Clear goals enable you to release your full potential for personal and professional success. Goals enable you to overcome any obstacle and to make your future unlimited.